hello so this video is about the item clothing uh, new update version 2 uh, how you can install how you can use and everything so yeah uh, it's pretty much a new concept uh, of item clothing and uh, the script logs config are much same as before the configuration is much same so we are not gonna use item to track every second so this will be more less laggy no not more or less laggy it's a zero lag because before in old script we was tracking a cloth in our inventory every second or 1.5 second which was making little issue but this thing is not tracking something like that so there will be no you know uh, like issues something so there's a config basic config uh, you can make it true for the debugs to check effort and everything uh, was happening in script and that's a command for the eye, eye clothing and yeah so yeah it will not work for now you can set your inventory image uh, path is here we're gonna start by using item so I have multiple items every single item of all the clothes so yeah let's say I'm gonna use your I know yeah this one okay so whenever I use uh, let's say this one I just put my jacket on um, like that yeah so whenever I use item uh, specifics the load will be added on my clothes so if I want to remove any of the cloth I can use slash i cloth and all the clothes that I'm wearing by using uh, item clothing script all will be shown here so these images and everything will be directly picked from inventory yeah so if I just click on here like let's say vest yeah if I just click on vest it will be removed and item will be in back in my pocket yeah I'm gonna remove all of them let's see okay and if I just use now there will be no item so I'm gonna you uh, do by the bag um, if I uh, where is the bag yeah there mm, yeah so I have bag one mm, in the config what is say uh, type 5 uh, do not touch these things uh, do not touch these both of them and if you wanna uh, add the animation you can do it here and if you wanna add time and everything there should be I will add there added also so you can do some progress stuff in here but yeah if uh, if no one is wearing like whenever uh, you remove your cloth uh, like if you are removing bag and it will just remove your cloth to this slot like you will get this slot by default so after removing the cloth I'm sorry about that so yeah <laughs> my English is uh, so if uh, this is a this is a bag item name okay this must be item name so we can add more as added here so yeah, like that mm let's talk about the installation folder first so there is no confusion left uh, this is the most important stuff that we need um, yeah we need to install this uh, in your database whatever you are using qbsx doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah these are some test items uh, there is no need to install of install them but if you want to test some stuff you can install them and see how things are working you will see your QB items uh, if you if it's the QB script you have to install in a QB f uh, QB core shared folder and if you are using OX you can use OX items in your OX inventory and if you are using any other inventory and you can just like use the chat GPT to convert them it's easy and if you're using ESX item like that and there are some basic images these are just you know uh, b default items images these are just to show it doesn't matter yeah so if you are working on a custom uh, item like a new item if you are like bag one for example just add the item name spawn name here it should be a spawn name all small as you did in your inventory or course script yeah same script this item if I just try to spawn uh, 
this should be in your server this item doesn't exist that's why it didn't give me uh, but whenever we try to spawn it should be come in your inventory because you have to install these items first in your uh, server the and after the restart and do it here so suppose this item is working bag one and yeah we're gonna install some yeah let's remove for now uh, let's say we are working on a bag just just to show I'm not gonna make it so complicated so let's say we are working on a bag item which is a bag uh, again this is uh, I said it back just to make it easy but you can add any spawn name here and if I just use this I don't have Oh yeah, let's see. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna configure my bag item here. Uh, this is a let's say other, but we are gonna work on this one for now. So how uh, we gonna need a select the slot? Uh, which slot we need uh, for the bag? Where is bag? Where is bag? Bag bag. Yeah, there. So. what the hell I forget yeah this one mm, let's say 20 there is no cloth okay uh, we're gonna use this one so what the slot name is a 41 uh, we're gonna make it 41 and what texture we need there is no texture so we can keep it as zero uh, yeah zero so if you are a female character come with the female character if you want to configure female stuff come with the female character in server and you will see some uh, female clothes when you are wearing this thing will be not same for the man and woman uh, yeah so it's like that you can come here you can make uh, at the slot and same with the female version just save it and again this item should be already in your server Mm. Okay, just restart the script. Uh, I'm not gonna save it because if I'm wearing the same cloth already, it will not able to use. Uh, I'll show you later. And if I use a uh, bag item now, it will give me this cloth, right? So it's the same cloth. Uh, if I just go there, it's a 41 slot, yeah. So yeah and if I just try to you know eye clothing if I just remove it I will be on a uh, zero slot yeah it's like that so all of the items work same like that there is no difference but the torso torso was the uh, most important stuff that people was looking for so for now before it was like making a torso some glitchy and some other shit yeah I was wearing some uh, just a torso and which was making shirt and arms issue but now uh, just do the same thing like copy this stuff and paste in a new line uh, oh no my bad um, yeah copy paste in a new line change the item name and make more cloth yeah so it will be like that but there uh, do not touch this stuff you can do progress animation same like that but you can do some uh, clothes right there like default cloth what player will wear if he's not wearing uh, like if he just remove his cloth so he should be on a zero zero slot or whatever slot feel good for you and if we come here we can add the sl torso slot and we can add the shirt slot and we can add the arm slot so this is already configured I'm just gonna show you yeah so if I this is a torso and if I use it and you see there is no glitch shirt is a different and hands are pretty fine already so now we can use three of them at the same time so this will not make any kind of issue so this is a pretty much and let me show you some logs uh, that we see there is no effort logs but we can see the uh, logs here uh, in console live console because there is no console uh, 
logs in F8 like client side there all the logs are server side so we can do this like yeah let's I'm just gonna show you how it's work if I now there is no logs and if I just do this and if I try to remove it what is say um, 11 11 is just a slot names you know 11 0 it should be yeah you can understand later component 11 to default drivable 0 and yeah yeah this one torso because we are handling as a torso so it just show us uh, just a torso so yeah like that mm, yeah setting component 11 to 0 0 it's not showing other because uh, it's just a torso so that's why I didn't make it to show all of them uh, saving data for this person this person found clothing data for you know there is no data left in eye clothing yeah so it's like that I think they help if there you have any kind of questions I <laughs> made this video already too much long so yeah if you have any question you can ask me uh, with the ticket and yeah that's all bye